300, what's the deal? It's your folks, Shaka. Wanted to share my thoughts with y'all real quick. Yeah, I wanted to speak real quick about this Dr. Umar situation. If y'all are not aware, Dr. Umar was seen in the mall speaking to some uh, other type of woman. Now, she said that she's culturally not so-called uh, white, but, you know, she is that phenotype, okay? Now, he was seen at the mall uh, talking to this woman, and it made viral news. People were saying that he was out there trying to holler at the so-called other woman. And uh, he did respond. Uh, they, they ended up finding the girl. They were able to sit down and confirm some things with the girl. And so I wanted to go ahead and get my take on that. You know, yeah, I'm the type of dude, I'm looking at all the details. And when I look at all of the details, uh, I'm not buying what Umar is talking about. Okay? And me just being a man, I'm not buying what Umar is talking about. Okay? And you know, y'all, this is the price you pay when you're out here being as extra as Umar is. When really for a great part of what you're doing, you just live in a lie, bro. You know, you want to live and act just like any other man is uh, is out here. You know what I'm saying? Average type shit, not top tier. Now, why am I saying this to y'all? Y'all know the number one red flag to me, y'all, is the reason why he went over there. So, you were out and about, and you went over to a so-called other groups of people stand. Somebody like Umar Johnson now. We're talking about Umar Johnson. Like I tell y'all, I said this a lot on my last channel. If they say that they're there, all we're doing is going to go check to see if they're there. If they're not just there, we letting y'all know that they ain't there. So this is Dr. Umar, okay? The, the, the self-proclaimed uh, speaker against uh, interracial relationships and all these things like that. He's big on this so-called pan-Africanism movement and things like that. He's in circle with the whole tip community heavy. And so when you talk about all of these things, you had no business being over there for crystals and incense. Okay, your community that you claim that you represent, that's them. Why would you even take that anywhere else? Why would that person be able to have a record that so-called uh, Umar chose to pull up to their business for those types of things over his own people? that everybody and their mama should know that it's supreme in that stuff. I mean, I'm not gonna lie. When it comes to the oils, the incense, the, the crystal rocks and all this different type of stuff, uh, you getting that stuff from a hotel, all right? You getting that stuff from a hotel and there is no reason for Umar to have went outside of his community to even have to entertain that. But you know why he did it? You know, cause he was already thinking ahead of the game when he went over there. He went over there to just see what would happen. He was already attracted, okay? And he went over there to kind of see what would happen, all right? And when you look at how they were kind of flirting, going back and forth and things like that, man, that's a lot more than him going over there to look at the booth to see what that person had to offer, okay? And so, yeah, man, I, and I mean, he probably didn't go as far enough to have this so-called woman who probably found out that he was Dr. Umar and she didn't want no problems. He probably didn't go far enough for her to give uh, the public much of anything else to really work with. But yeah, man, I'm not buying that. He was over there trying to be slick and he got caught. And so uh, I'm going to leave it there, y'all. Uh, comment below, like this information, hit the sub button and the bell. You're dropping shit y'all like. It's your folks talking to Herb Philosopher.